a conference of the National Languages Equality Advancement Project in collaboration with the Ministry of Public Administration, Home Affairs, Provincial Councils and Local Government and the Canadian Government was held in Colombo today under the patronage of Prime Minister Dinesh Gunawardena. Assuring language rights in multi-ethnic and multicultural societies such as ours affords minorities respect for their cultural, ethnic and religious identities. Implementation of an official languages policy by a society and its institutions enables linguistic minorities to see themselves as integral to the country as a whole. We believe our differences can strengthen us and bring us together, but it takes effort and it is not always comfortable. Making these efforts to bridge linguistic divides, to respect language rights, and to become bilingual or multilingual as a society, these are ways to heal ethnic divides and achieve reconciliation and social cohesion. In Sri Lanka, the official languages policy enshrines the right of every citizen to access public services in the official language of their choice. Effective implementation of this policy requires participation of all ministries and departments of the government of Sri Lanka and all levels of government, including local authorities, as well as collaborative, constructive cooperation between diverse partners. In implementation, many areas have been covered. Communication rights involve freedom of opinion and expression, participation in one's own culture, linguistic rights, rights to continue education, privacy, as well as assembly. The official languages policy of Sri Lanka has been formulated with this vision. Its objective is also to enhance acceptance by the Sri Lankan women and men of the cultural diversity in the country. Overcoming the communication barriers also help for speedy economic development and ensuring uniformity in development. That in turn helps to reduce poverty and improve economic and social equality.